Hello, this is Mike Hatzager, the producer of the Philip Schneider CD, and I have with me today Mr. Al Bielik. Uh I asked Mr. Al Bielik to come on and say a few words about his experience and his relationship with Phil Schneider. He knew him very well, and in fact he knew him several years prior to his death in 1996, yes. I believe it was. So I asked him to come on and just share with us, share with you, uh, perhaps some of the private conversations that he had with Phil, uh, because there were many times they spent, I guess, at a conference, a hotel room together. They had a lot of conversations together. They were close personal friends all the way up toward the end. And with that, Al, thanks for being here today. Well, thank you. Hopefully I can contribute something to the what is sometimes called the mystery of Phil Schneider. I don't think his life as such was any mystery but prior to the point when he went public perhaps it was because he worked for the government in one capacity or another for many years uh, he was both of the skunk works and what was called the skunk works in Burbank, California he was at Edwards Air Force Base he worked all over the country and eventually all over the world on underground bases told me many stories regarding those the causes involvement of the Dulce wars as they were sometimes called against the aliens he was one of the very few survivors and the one which was so disastrous all of these things of course I did not know about him in fact never heard of him until sometime in early 93 as I remember when I was at a conference doing a lecture course in the Philadelphia Experiment in Seattle he showed up introduced himself and says I would like to talk with you he says my father Oscar Schneider was part of the Philadelphia experiment. Well, of course, my ears perked up. <laughs> and over a course of time, he told me some things about his father. At that point, I believe his father was still alive. It was shortly after I met him that his father died of cancer. But he had, his father had been basically a captain in the United States Navy Medical Corps and was the chief medical officer for the Philadelphia experiment and other things afterwards. <coughs> Phil now, now, didn't his father, that's Oscar Schneider, tell him, Phil, this information just before he died? Or, or yes. Uh, he knew that he was involved in the Philadelphia Experiment. That was an open discussion uh, well before he died. Well before, okay. But what was not open discussion until two weeks pre prior to his death, when he, uh, Oscar, knew he was dying of cancer and was, I guess, irreversible at that point, he called Phil into his bedside and uh, says, Phil, I want you to know the my real history. He says, I've always told you I was born in the U.S. of Jewish parentage and such. He says, that's not true. He says, I was born in Germany many years ago. Uh, the exact date I don't recall. But during the period when Hitler was in power, it was when he grew, Oscar grew up, he was a master machinist, and I'm quoting what Phil told me. His father was a master machinist at the age of 14, which was quite an accomplishment in Germany then, and eventually enlisted in the Navy and became a captain, a captain of a U-boat. According to what I was told, Oscar Schneider had something like 68 successful kills, that is sinking English or French shipping during the early part of World War II, because the United States was not involved until after December 7th, 41. And he was captured at some point along the line by the French. He was taken in custody. He was held there in France in late, I think he said, uh, late 39, early 40. Sometime in that period, I'm not quite sure of the dates, but it was in that period around the early 1940. And some negotiations took place and at some point, <clears throat> the Third Army of the United States was involved when, uh, of course, we had some troops over there. He was turned over to the American troops and, and brought back to the United States <coughs> and suddenly given the same rank in the United States Navy as he had had in the German Navy, that of a captain. And, of course, he was a medical officer. Now, Phil asked the same question I did. If he was a U-boat captain and he comes to the United States Navy, how could he suddenly become a medical officer? Well, another statement you said, Al, I see is odd. Did he tell his son that he was Jewish? 
prior to the true story. He was not Jewish. So Phil thought he was Jewish? Yes. But, but he, he was, was really not. German. He was really German. Okay, so that was the cover. Right. He was actually born about 1905, if I remember correctly. And uh, the official Navy record, which I have seen, says that he was born in 1905 in some little town called Cisco, California. Went through University of Berkeley, University of California, Berkeley for his pre-med. This Phil? But this is for Oscar Schneider. Oscar. This is the official version I'm talking about for the Navy, which I have a copy of somewhere. And when he finished his uh, pre-med, he went to Harvard for his medical his internship and then joined the Navy and worked his way up through the ranks as a medical officer. That's the official version. The unofficial version and the facts are quite different. Now, how Phil Schneider, well, Phil Schneider, of course, had no choice but to accept the word of his father, but how Phil Schneider thought about this, I don't really know, except he questioned it just as much as I did. How could a man who had been in the German Navy for a number of years as a captain going around as a U-boat captain sinking Allied shipping suddenly become a medical doctor? It had to be a cover, which the Navy made up the whole story of his original being born in the U.S. and going through all the medical schools here. Well, do you think, Gal, that his being brought over here to the United States was part of Operation Paperclip? No, it was long before Paperclip. Paperclip was 1946. Uh -huh. He was brought over to the United States in late, and sometime in, I believe, late 41. And <clears throat> did, well, did, did he say why he was brought over or why he came over? To become part of the Philadelphia Experiment was the information I have and the information which I believe Phil had. He was put into that immediately. Hmm. Now one has to ask a question, why? Having read some of the private papers of Oscar Schneider, all I can say is for an MD to run off the mathematical equations I have seen and references to time travel and equations for time travel, I knew the reason why the United States government wanted him. He apparently was involved somewhere, and I have to say this as an assumption, mm -hmm. he was apparently involved somewhere in the background of the German research on time travel and time research because they had a program going also, as we did. And our program, of course, was heavily concealed under very high security starting in 1936. But the Germans allegedly had a successful time travel system functioning before World War II was over. And it would appear that Oscar Schneider had knowledge of this, and because of his knowledge of this, was assigned to our project, namely the Philadelphia Experiment. Now, the Philadelphia Experiment was not truly a case for time travel. It was a case for using manipulations of time in the time field to create invisibility, but there was a relationship. That's my uh, data, my assumption, and what I have been able to put together on why they wanted Oscar Schneider in the U.S. Because otherwise, why would you take a naval commander from Germany who had sunk all kinds of ships, including maybe your own, and at this point I don't believe he had sunk a, a U.S. ship, but Allied shipping, and suddenly put him in the United States Navy at the same rank he had held in the German Navy? Well, did Oscar ever share that with Phil as far as the reasoning that he was brought over? I don't know whether he really did or not. I discussed this with mm -hmm. Phil quite a lot. Mm -hmm. And Phil did not give me all of the background that he knew about his father, except this aspect. There might have been a connection between Oscar Schneider coming to the United States and my father, my real father, Ed, uh, as 